Oh, because we're not robots. Hey, we're not robots. And you've had a big surgery. Welcome home, baby. Welcome home, baby. I love you. I love you. Brother. Uncle Bodo. I love you so much. I love you. No, no, don't put your hand in the eye. Hold your baby. Good morning. <sighs> so today is um, Thursday and we are getting discharged today. Yeah, so they told me yesterday that since everything is fine, no issues, we'll be discharged today. So first thing this morning, I've had a quick shower when the baby was still asleep. I didn't get a good sleep last night at all. <laughs> This guy kept me up, eh? he kept mommy up. He kept um, wanting to feed every now and then. I think it's called cluster feeding or something like that. Yeah, it's called cluster feeding. So yeah, what can I do? I had to feed him every time he wanted to be fed. Sometimes he just wants to be held. He wants me to carry him. So I didn't quite get a good sleep last night. I know I said in my previous video that I am not feeling much pain yet or the pain is variable. Please ignore that. Ignore it because it's just as if after saying that thing in the video, the pain was just like, mm, wow, okay, <laughs> I'm coming to you. Yeah, you guys, later yesterday evening, the pain came back with full force, okay? I had to request for a stronger pain medication. This morning, the pediatrician has to come and see the baby. And they also have to check on me as well, check the C-section site. Be sure that everything is fine before they can discharge us. Hello. Hi. Education checklist before you go home. Yeah. Did you have your last baby here? Yeah. Yeah. So you remember that um, when you go home, we have home visiting midwives yeah. and then your child health nurse than your GP and then there's just a bit of education to make sure that you're happy and safe going home it's a bit of a checklist if there's anything that you're like yeah 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 feel free to tell me okay. um, and then we need the doctors to come and do a discharge check on you yeah. and then um, baby check we try and do a hearing screen a few things to organize before we go have they come and taken your blood test yet no, they I might just do that myself just to get it Nice and quick, because are you keen to get out of here? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's normal. <laughs> so, one of the most important things we like to do is the safe sleeping guidelines. Yep. Are you happy with safe sleeping? So, recommend not co-sleeping with your baby. Yep. <laughs> um, if you, uh, with safe sleeping, they sleep in your room for the first six months of life. Yep just on their back, no beanies on, no extra toys, no blankets. So just swaddled on their back is good. Um, feet at the bottom of the bassinet. Yeah. There can be a few changes in the first week while you transition. 
The big um, kind of couple of things in the first few days is baby cluster feeding mm -hmm. on the second night. And they're very... That's very accurate. <laughs> yeah. They're very clingy. They just want to be on you. They're really yeah. unsettled. It's like they're ravenous and you yeah. can't feed them enough. That's normal behavior on the second night. It's to stimulate your breasts and then day three your milk will come in. In this first week, we know that there's a lot of big changes and it's normal. Because we must here and there. Yeah, it's normal because we're not robots. Hey, we're not robots. And you've had a big surgery and you've brought a baby into the world. So that's very normal. Do you have good support at home? Sure. It's good to cry though. God gave us tears for, a, you know, letting it all out. You had a big night last night, did you, with him? Yeah. This is normal, darling. The child actually smells nice. I know, it's lavender. Oh. <laughs> why this my donut is sitting where he's sitting but anyways i just thought to give you guys a little update so we're still in the process of getting discharged and there's been one doctor or the other or one person or the other walk into your room just come and tell you who they are what they are here to do so the neonatal doctors has been here to assess the baby all those plenty plenty checks sha yeah. <laughs> and everything is fine there's nothing to worry about at the moment and they've also checked me um the midwife has assessed me asked me how breastfeeding is going and yeah we're all good to go but not yet ready to go so yeah i just thought to update you guys hopefully very soon we'll be heading home because i can't wait not like i'm in a hurry to go home but yeah i'm not going to live here forever <laughs> i need to go home and face my new reality okay Alright, so 
we did it we are all set and ready to go home we've been cleared we've been discharged and can't wait to get to so right now i'm just going to give my husband a call because he's been waiting for a yes or like start coming because i didn't want him to come and wait the whole day and pay for parking so i told him you know what just hold on when when we are ready to go i'll just give you a call so that you can start coming because our house is just about 10 minutes away from here this is my going home outfit this was the same outfit i wore to go home when i had my first baby it's actually shorter now did i grow taller or bigger or fatter i still look pregnant i mean look at this is somebody's um five months baby bump <laughs> And here is my little guy. I don't know why his face is red, Sha, but this is him. Are you ready to go? I hope you're not going to be a cry cry baby in the car. Hmm? Be a good boy, okay? My baby. I love my baby. Say welcome home, baby. Welcome home, baby. I love you. Love you. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. <laughs> well. Baby is crying. Don't baby is crying. Hey, baby, don't cry. Hey, baby, don't cry. What? Is 